Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another edition of Raider Sports. So, Brett Yormark, the new Big Ten, Big 12 commissioner, who has taken over for Bob Bowlesby officially on August 1st, said in his media day that the Big 12 was open for business, as we all know that quote. Well, it turns out that that the Big 12 is not only open for business, but they are being super aggressive. And I love it from uh, Brett Yormark. If that's what he's going to do, that's great for me. That's great for the channel. That's great for the Big 12. It's something that Bob Bowlesby, more of a traditionalist, wasn't really, you know, capable of doing. You know, that forward-seeking, you know, shooting out missiles. But it seems like Brett Yormark might have started trying to punch above his weight class as the report is that the Big 12 has been trying to add Minnesota. Yes, the Big 12 is trying to add the Golden Gophers from the Big 10. Now, the Golden Gophers are going to make $100 million, give or take, a year from the new Big 10 media contract. So what makes it... What possessed the Big 12 in their mind to say, hey... Let's add Minnesota and see if they'll take half a cut. A hundred million from the Big Tw Big Ten or fifty million from the Big Twelve. Unless they're my only thought, I don't know what pitch they would have used. But my only thought is that there may be some rumblings out of Minnesota that's getting around uh circled that maybe they're unhappy with some of the structure of the Big Ten. And maybe that's why the Big 12 reached out. That could be that could be my only thing, is the fact that the only pitch I believe they could have used was USC-UCLA is coming. You already have a conference in which the only time you will win a division championship is if Wisconsin has a bad year. So you have already created Wisconsin, or Minnesota, excuse me, to be that fourth to, you know, seventh or eighth, fourth to seventh team, depending on, you know, Northwestern Purdue, Nebraska. So they're like, the competitive balance over here is a lot better than it's going to be over there. You can win more over in the Big 12 than you will in the Big 10. That's my only possible thought that they could possibly use to lure Minnesota and if you're luring Minnesota, you're probably talking to Iowa at the same time. I'm just saying. But this would make sense for, you know, the Big 12 because St. Paul, Minneapolis, you get that market. Um, it's a Big 10 school, so so it already has a kind of a fan base. Not a great one as Big 12 schools go, but they're good enough. They have a great running back right now and uh, Ibram whatever his name is, I can't, I for, forget it all, but, yeah, so I see why they would, you know, at least make an exploratory phone call, but what pitch they would use, I'm not exactly sure what, uh, why they think Minnesota would take, you know, half, half that money that they're going to make from, uh, the Big 12, from the Big 10 and go over to the Big 12, you make a hundred million, or you can make fifty. The financial aspect doesn't add up. They can't do it. It's not going to get done. That was a good try for for Brett Yormark. It really is, shows that hey, they're going to be aggressive on this, and that the Big Twelve definitely is looking towards expansion. And if they're looking at Minnesota, then they're they're probably getting no traction whatsoever on the four corner schools. And so that tells me that the Pac twelve. And from everything I've been hearing about the Pac-12 is that they're trying to look at the viability of staying at 10. What's the number at 10? And then we're going to work from there. Oregon wants it to be a short-term contract. Um, and Washington wants it to be a short-term. Everybody wants it to be a short-term contract. The problem is, uh, seems like Oregon and Washington want a no buyout fee or no exit fee attached to that. So that in case this goes south, they can leave. And so that's what's going on there. But it seems like there's no traction being gained between the Big 12 and the Four Corners schools. Those are Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and Arizona State. 
So the Big 12 is now looking elsewhere and trying to punch above their weight class to get that media rights deal even bigger. And that seems to be their play. Minneapolis, St. Paul, great market. Um, would really be attractive to, you know, ESPN or, yeah, ESPN in this case. Um, so, yeah, I can see why they do it. And I love your mark being aggressive like that. If if he's that aggressive with, like, a Boise State or something, you know, hey. Or an ACC school might might flip because I'm I'm hearing a lot of rumors when it comes to the the ACC that there is this great schism between the uh, private schools and the public schools. I was going to make another video on that soon, and that pretty much the state schools aren't exactly happy with the way the media deals run, and like the Dukes and the Wake Forest are perfectly happy with this. This solidifies their Power Five status. That if it wasn't for this media deal wouldn't exist so that's another video for another time guys thank you for watching i'm ken Ryder, and i'm signing out so but before i do let me ask you a question minnesota to the big 10 minnesota to the big 12 what was the pitch that Min that the big 12 was going to use for minnesota thank you guys for watching i'm signing out officially